What's the haps? Hope you're doing really well. Um, this is going to be a quick tutorial on EQ automation, how you can automate your EQ um, for many different reasons. Um, let me play back this little track, this little section. Okay, cool. So what we're looking at over here on the left is this is our basically our master bus okay so everything is going through this now let's say we wanted to automate like a filter setting um, and let me show you what I mean well what we would do to automate this EQ is you would make sure that your automation on this track is on. So I'm going to turn on touch. And then I'm going to move this, this little EQ here, watch. Can you kind of see how this could be pretty cool? If you're doing effects or say for instance, there's one part of the mix that you want to have a little bit more, um, let's undo that. Let's say you had one part of the mix that you wanted to have more bass overall on the mix and uh, you wanted to automate that. So let's just say on this part we want, And on the second bar, we want to have, you know, more bass. So let's go down to our our bus track here. Uh, bus. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the automation on this track, and I'm going to go to main. I'm going to go to volume or actually EQ. I'm going to go to low shelf gain. So on this section, I'm going to raise it. Okay, watch what happens. That's way too much. But if you want to do just a bit, why would you want to do this? Well, let's say you want your verse to be impactful, but you want your, your chorus to be really impactful. Or let's say there's an overall frequency that you want to cut. You know, let's say that... Um, you know, you want to kind of dial something back a bit, right? So let's go like this. Cool. So let's say in this section you want to dial it back a couple dB. That is how you automate EQ. Um, I'm not going too in depth here. This can be used, you know, for vocals. This can be used for, I mean, pretty much anything. But it is a, a cool little tip um, or a cool little trick that can be useful. There's also clip based um, EQ, which can be used as well. I can cover that in another tutorial. Anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. And if it was helpful to you, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. And as always, have a super, super cool one wherever you are. All right, talk to you soon. All right, catch you on the next one.